Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be setting up the blog of a WordPress website. So focusing on setting up individual blogs, which includes using the block editor and adding images as well as adding categories and tags. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so here I have a fresh install of WordPress. So in this video, we'll be focusing more on setting up the blog posts. So we'll go into details into creating a post and categories and tag so that your blog is well optimized, which makes it easy for search engines to pick up on your blog posts. And if you're looking for how to build a WordPress site from scratch, then I'll link to a video now and I'll go over setting up a WordPress website. Okay, so this is our homepage of the website. So if we scroll down to the bottom over here, we can see our blog section, which is over here. So if we click that, so this is the blog post that comes by default. Okay, so now let's go back and create our own. So go into dashboard and then post and then add new posts. Okay, so this is the block editors. This is how you add different elements to your blog post, such as images and videos. Okay, so we'll just run through their tutorial here, name our article. So this is going to be about, let's say, why WordPress is the best blogging platform okay and then over here we can initiate a block so we'll click that and then what we're going to do is select what we're looking to add first so these are the predefined blocks by wordpress over here is just focusing on the text so we can go to paragraph over here okay so now we have this paragraph block and we can insert our blog data Okay, so let me just paste in the demo article. Okay, and I'm going to paste the article. Okay, awesome. So over here, you're able to set the headings. So with blog content, you want to make sure that there's just one H1, which is this main heading over here. So these are the subheadings. So in this case, we don't need this. So we can just uh, delete this one. Okay, and then this is the starting paragraph. And then over here are the subheadings. So it's in a list format. Okay, so over here, again, it's just a standard text editor. So within the text here, you're able to bold it or use these controls over here. Okay, and then if you open up the toolbar over here, you'll get more options to edit your content. So you can set up the typography over here. So within the post, you can set up the sizing and the text colors. Okay, and then over here, you have more options to add. So such as the font family. So it's using the default font, but you're able to change it over here with the available font. So you have a lot of options here to play with. You would just need to select the options which you'd like to enable over here. And if you're versed with HTML, you can even edit it directly in HTML over here. And then if you want to just go back to using the standard CMS, then you just edit visually and it'll convert it back. Okay, so this is how you would edit the text. Now let's add an image. So next, what you want to do is within the same page is we're going to add a new block right here at the bottom. And then we're just going to add an image okay and then you can upload the image okay so the image has been uploaded so just select this okay great so now our image has been uploaded so over here in the sidebar again you get more tools on editing the images and then by default it looks good okay so now this blog post is ready to be published so before you do that what you want to do is check over here on the post summary page so you want to make sure the author is correct and then over here is what we're going to do is add the categories and tags as well as a featured image okay and then over here is an excerpt so this essentially is like a summary of the blog post but wordpress can automatically scrape the starting content so this is only optional okay so over here in featured image let's just re-upload the image okay and then we're gonna need to add a category so let's do wordpress okay and no parent category okay and then add that and then tags as well so this tags helps with categorizing your blog if you have like a search functionality so just adding some tags helps with that so let's say again wordpress it's fine but i'd say categories have more impact in terms of the organization of your blog post okay so just to separate your your tags with commas so wordpress and then blogging okay so those looks good okay and then just double check everything and you can even uh, preview it over here before you publish okay so you can preview it in different resolutions so let's just do the desktop so yeah so this looks good we have our featured image over here and then again at the bottom it shows the image again and we have our tags here and over here you're able to post a comment if you're logged in okay so this looks good so let's get ready to publish the post okay and then we're going to click publish okay and then view the post so now if we check up here in the url the blog post is now public okay so now i'm going to show you just some more ways you can edit the post such as optimizing it for seo so what you want to do first is in their dashboard is make sure that any pages uses the post name as the permalink so over here so this is set by default 
So just make sure that you have the permalink structure on postname as this helps with SEO and it's just more organized compared to using a plain permalink structure. Okay, and then let's go over here into reading and just make sure our pages are set up properly. Okay, so the home page should display your latest posts. But if you have a home page already, then you would just need to create a blog post page to separate all your posts. Okay, so I just save that as your latest post. And then if we view the home page, awesome. So now we see over here we have our new posts added. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to edit the settings of your blog. So over here in discussions, so this is important if you're looking to fine tune the settings of your blog, such as allowing comments to be moderated or manually approved. So this is important, especially for spam. Before a comment appears, you can set it so, such that you need to manually approve it. And then these are email notifications. So anytime someone comments, you can get emailed or you can just disable that especially if you're getting a lot of comments. Okay, and this one is important as well. Users must be registered and logged in to comments. So this helps with preventing spam because if this is in check, then anonymous comments can be made. Okay, so this looks good. So let's just save this. Okay, great. And then if we check all our posts over here, again, this is an overview of all our posts. And then we can go over the post based on categories. Okay, and then if we click categories over here and then we click the specific category, then over here we have our category page which is a better layout as it shows the featured image and it's just more appealing for users to click on. So essentially you can take this URL and then add it as a link to your main menu, such as news or articles, and then we'll link to this specific template, which will help with generating more visitors to your blog. Okay, so I'm just gonna edit the post here. Okay, over here, if you wanna update the URL structure, you can edit that over here. So say if you wanna change it to say best blogging platform in 2024, and then you can update that. And then the link will be updated as well, but make sure you also do a 401 redirect. If you're doing this on an old post, as if you have posts that's already ranking, changing the URL will negatively impact those SEO rankings. So just make sure that if you do change URLs, that you point that old URL to the new URL. This concludes the end of the video. I hope you were able to follow along and set up a blog on your website. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help, then you can click the calendar lead link in the description. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.